Hey, it's a Monday fun day. It doesn't feel like that for me, y'all. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was the time change. I am so exhausted today. I feel so drained. I felt so drained. Thank goodness I was able to, I was, um, yeah, I was able to take a, a short nap today and I'm just getting up from that nap. So let me give you what I got for this Dollar Tree haul on this Monday. Um, I picked up a not a bunch of things, but some things from two different Dollar Trees this weekend. I left some items in the car. Thank goodness I did, because I'll be able to save that for Wednesday. Um, but let me go ahead and get started. So let me see how the glare is. Oh, it doesn't seem too bad. All right, so guys, so I picked up this 24-pack of Party, by the company Party, paper straws. And I picked up one pack in teal and one pack in pink. I've always called that a hair bone print. That used to be the print of my uh, skirt when I went to Catholic school at Archbishop Carroll High School. So um, I always, like I said, call this hair and bone. Ours was a green and tan hair and bone print. But uh, nevertheless, look reminiscent. I picked these paper straws up because I plan on doing some crafting. So I was really surprised to find this wine stopper by the company Cypress Home. And it comes in a really nice box already. Check that out. So, um... Check out the box. So I picked up one of these, and yes, it's already monogrammed with the letter H. But thank goodness, I know some folks that have the last name H, so right on time with that. All right, let me show you this wine glass. Let me see. I'm, I am kind of getting a glare, so let me look at that emoji wine glass I found. Now, this just says imported by Greenbrier. It didn't have a company name on it, but I had to, when I saw the emojis, pick up this wine glass. So I've got that. I needed a bowl because if you um, microwave steel cut oatmeal like I do in the morning, I don't mind the instant steel cut. Um, it expands. So I needed a bit bigger of a bowl. Um, and actually, I don't think maybe this bowl was even that much bigger than my regular bowls. But I picked it up. That's for my steel cut oatmeal. Um, hopefully. If not, I'll be able to take that plastic bowl from the Dollar Tree with the, uh, excuse me, the glass bowl from the Dollar Tree with the plastic lid and put one of them up in my bathroom because I actually want one of those so I can do the clay and apple cider vinegar, um, you know, facial mask. Um, so yeah. All right. I have not been paying attention to these old Williamsburg candles and let me tell you why. Cause when they came out this summer, it was cause they're like the coastal candles. You see those? That is the deep blue ocean mist. And that is Driftwood and what does it say? Um, Jay Harbor. Bar Harbor, excuse me. Bar Harbor and Driftwood. So I hadn't been paying attention to these candles because they were coastal candles. But they are by Old Williamsburg Candle Company. So I just, I don't know why. This weekend I was like, let me smell them. This candle smells good. And since it's Old Williamsburg Candle Company, I said, let me go ahead and try it out. So this is Far Harbor and Driftwood. Excuse me, you all. That's Far Harbor and Driftwood. And then this is Deep Blue Ocean Mist. Can I read how many ounces this is? Looks like about a two or three ounce candle. Yes, again, another day of me not bringing my glasses. But this one smells good as well. So I'm really looking forward to trying those candles. Okay, so I've been holding up for you all this thing here. Do y'all know what this is? Have you seen anybody else haul it? I did. I saw Sensational Finds haul this. And you see it has something where you can hang it on the back. But y'all, this is a wood tile board. And this is by the company Plaid Enterprises. Look at that. Nine pieces of wood tile Nine little individual pieces. And you see how they did that? When I saw that, I was like, I've got to get these. I picked up four of them so my kids and I can get crafty. Whether I let my boys and my daughter go at this. Because I think she would love to do this. And I just, you know, help the boys out with theirs. I just thought this would be so much fun to decorate. Um, and for her to put in her college dorm, my oldest, my daughter. So, picked these up when I looked on Amazon. These, if I'm not mistaken, I tried pulling it up on my phone. I don't know why I'm not getting good signal where I am right now. But these were either $5.99 or $7.99 a piece on Amazon. So this is a really great buy. And I know I put it on my Instagram. So you can check out Miss Black Gold on Instagram and you will see that board and how much I said it cost on Amazon. All right, so thinking about that wood tile board, I went ahead and picked up this magnetic heart in pink. And then I also picked up this teal letter P. Uh, let me show you what else. I picked up this wine box, you guys. 
Can you see that? And the lid says to from, do not open until December 25th. That's the lid for the wine box, and it looks like that. And this is a huge, well, I call it a wine box, but you can put anything in here. It doesn't have to be wine. And let me hold up this board behind it, because I want y'all to see, see the colors of it. I thought it was just beautiful. The poinsettias on there says Merry Christmas. Keeps repeating that to and from, has a little Christmas stamp. So I thought that was a really nice box with lid. All right, so let's get to some of these goodies. Um, I found these two little jars. Can you see those? So check that jar out. It'll look like a little mason jar with a handle. This has no holes in the top. But then this one I picked up here does have little holes in the top. And I do have to let the boys be a little bit more independent. Even if I, like, give them spaghetti, I'm shaking their Parmesan on. So I figured I could put some of this, sit it at the table, and they can shake their Parmesan cheese on their own. My middle son is always saying, you don't buy me socks because I'm buying the oldest one socks. So I bought him some of these Santa socks and I thought these were nice for him. This e.l.f. lip stain comes in a color called Nude Nectar. And this is my first time picking up an e.l.f. lip stain. And I was so happy to find this. I'm just going to hold this board up for that. That is the Hello Kitty Soft Lips Cube in vanilla. Look at that Hello Kitty. So these are going to go quick. If these are at your Dollar Tree, these are going to move fast. There's so many Hello Kitty lovers out there. And I also was able to scoop up this bread pan. Really happy to find that. Find this bread pan by Cooking Concepts. I've been baking a lot of banana bread, just like they got on there. And it doesn't say the actual measurements of this cooking pan by Cooking Concepts, but it says heavyweight steel bakeware, even heating for golden brown baking results. So I've got my pan, which I needed because I only had a glass pan. And then I picked this up thinking me and the baby can definitely do this. This is by Crafter Square, and it's a stocking, but it's a stocking that we can color. So I thought that was really cute. Hold up this board again. Thought that was really cute. It says fa-la-la. So the baby and I, Chandler and I, will have a good time doing that. I picked up two books. This book is called Joshua Dread, The Dominion Key. And this is a children's book by Lee Bacon. So for my oldest son. And then I picked up this. And this is called, it's by Lynn Janae Recitas. It's called The Plan. Eliminate the surprising healthy foods that are making you fat and lose weight fast. But let me tell you the main reason I picked this up. I, I decided I didn't pick it up for the diet stuff because I got some pounds I could drop. But I picked it up because reading her little autobiography, she's been a whole, or not her autobiography, excuse me, but the part in the back that talks about the author, she has been a holistic doctor for 30 years. So it made me very interested in that because I, that is like one of my goals to try to get away from this Western medicine. Okay. So I broke in, gave up, whatever you want to call it, gave in on this tea light holder. And this is the little reindeer tea light holder. And the reason I say I gave in, because I posted a picture of this little reindeer tea light holder for you. So this is not my first time seeing it. Matter of fact, I've seen it on many occasions. Um, but maybe because I had all the Halloween stuff out, I wasn't seeing this working in my home. And now that that stuff is gone and put away, when I saw this, I was like, this would be so cute for Christmas. So I also picked up these two little LED tea light candles in the red glitter. Um, and I just, the red sparkle, and I just thought these would be so cute in there. So I picked up two of these, and I picked up one pack of those two tea light candle holders. And let's see. Okay, getting down to the last bit of stuff. So let me run through these. I'm going to run through them backwards. So all of these products are by Hot Wheels, and they are the Fast and Furious. All of them are different movies, but I'll tell you what they come from. Now, this is number, and there were eight of them, so I picked up each one, one out of eight, two out of eight, three out of eight, and all the way up to eight out of eight. So I collected them all. So this is the Hot Wheels Fast and Furious Fur Furious 7. And that, I think, was a Toyota Supra. No, the Subaru WRX STI. That's what that vehicle was. Okay. This one here is the Fast and Furious from the Furious 7 movie, the 94 Toyota Supra. This is number 7 out of 8. This is number six out of eight, which comes from the Fast and Furious 6 movie, 1974 Escort RS 1600. Am I bringing back any memories for people of any of these cars? <laughs> and then this is number five out of eight, the Corvette Grand Sport Roaster. And that comes from the Fast Five 
Fast and Furious movie. Then this was, this comes from the Fast Five movie, which is the Porsche 911 um, G13 RS. Then number three, and that was four out of eight, sorry. Number three out of eight is the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner from the Fast and Furious. And two out of eight is the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 from Too Fast, Too Furious. And then the last one is the Fast and Furious from the Fast and Furious movie, Honda S2000. So again, I picked up all eight out of eight. And I thought that would be a nice gift for someone. So, hey guys, I hope that you all, again, had an awesome Monday. I hope that, you know, you made this a great day on purpose. You know, that's what we got to do. We have to take control of our days. We can't let other people's um, actions affect us. It's how we react to that. So I hope, again, you made this an awesome day on purpose for yourself. If not, get yourself together tonight. Go to sleep when you wake up in the morning. You got another day because every day is a fresh start. All right. Love you guys. Take care. I will talk to you on Wednesday.